Well, this is what I look like all the time. <laughs> you look like um, look the like Meet that. the Robinsons kid. <laughs> I am about to quit my job. I told Sarah the other day, I said, if I get a certain call today, do I have your permission to just say, you know what, here's my two weeks. And what did I say? And he said, yeah, if you truly want to, we'll figure it out. That is true support in friendship, in relationship, and in marriage. I, d- I didn't, and I, don't, I really didn't. Your and tea's ready. dinner tonight I made the soybean pasta and then I made an avocado pasta sauce I'll link the recipe I used below and then topped it with the everything bagel seasoning we have mushroom zucchini onion veggie tacos that we're gonna top with this pepper cucumber slaw and some corn chips and then I also made black bean tomato salad with tahini on it and then just like red wine vinegar oil salt pepper garlic look at myself i need to take care of myself do you see this sir do you see how i look right now <laughs> my hair is nuts i haven't shaved in days I'm wearing a hoodie right now we're not going out again so if you came here to see epcot because we have a park pass for the tonight i guess turn off the vlog now but i hope you don't um because we cleaned up the kitchen and did most of the christmas cards I actually do have a call. It's four five forty right now. Like this is we haven't been dilly dallying. Like we were work 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 busy busy. Sarah's cooking cooking cooking. We'd have to get ready right now. What are you looking at me for? Tell them how long we and James were in bed this morning. Oh, Sarah was in bed with James and Eve until afternoon. I don't even know what time she actually got up. <laughs> um, but I'm happy. But until then, after after that, I've been with more. I've been so. Busy. Um. James didn't, I mean, because he was hanging out. Like, they weren't asleep. They were just, like, hanging out in our room. It's 5.40. If we were to, like, get up and get ready, because I've been in meetings all day. I wish I could show you my outlook so I can show you how many meetings I had the past three days. I have, like, ha- I don't have as many tomorrow, but I still have a ton of things to do. So I'm still working again later tonight. And then I have a meeting with Australia in 45 minutes. So even if we got ready... Got ourselves pulled together, got James ready, got in the car, drove over to Epcot. By the time we got to Epcot, I'd have to stay in the car for my phone call. And that should end at 7, from 6.30 to 7, but it might go a little later. And then we're there for an only hour, but less than an hour before park closed, which is fine. But it's just, I do need to work again later at like 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. And I wanted to start packing, and it's just, it's not been a great work two weeks, a week and a half now. Has it, Sarah? And like that's what's spilling hopeful, over into I'm the hopeful, evening. It'll, it'll end soon. I'm hope I'm. I don't know if hopeful is the right. That might be like an ignorant statement. This clip is really long now, so I'm gonna go. Hi. Just woke up from our like first true nap of the day. Oh my goodness. We've been having a Toy Story day, right? He's been loving it. I want to capture him doing his little toe point. Point! <laughs> See, he's like really watching the TV. He really likes it. You're watching a movie? You're like the biggest kid in town. When I went grocery shopping, I made the mistake of not getting any cookies. And I just really want, like, sweets. And we have none. We have hot chocolate, but we don't have any milk. Look at him watching this. I want to try and get him laughing on camera. Is that too much? I 
Well, as these things typically go, my work meeting went over late, so now it's 7.34, and apparently my day can just begin even though I've been, well, I've been working since, what, like 7 a.m.? Because I do the tech stuff early this morning and then I was doing it wrong? Yeah. We weren't going to go out because we were going to do um, packing. We're still going to pack up stuff, but I think I at least need to go because we just had the realization that we only have two diapers now, <laughs> which is the lowest we've ever gotten. I mean, granted, we do have reusables. Um, I, I don't think they'll fit in those yet. Yeah, we're not, we haven't tried them yet. We don't think that he fits. So I'm going to go to run to Target at least. I'm going to talk to Sarah. Maybe they'll come with, maybe they won't. Maybe I'll just run yeah. to Target. Run not I physically run. run. Not physically run, but run in the car. We have to keep running with our Toy Story parents. Yeah. James apparently is a Toy Story fiend. I want to break him the heartbreak and just not have him watch any of them so he doesn't have the heartbreak of Toy Story 3 or 4. But, you know, that's part of life. It's feeling those sad emotions and learning how to cope with them. It was Eve's movie choice. Can you hear it? It's her favorite Moana. You look fake. You look fake. I have to go to Target. What do I look like? As real as it gets. <laughs> Eve is so serious and she's like, stop talking and let me watch my movie. No, she thinks she's good. Oh yeah, she does. Love you guys. Say bye, Dad. Remember when Sarah you thought his eyebrows were gone? Not Never. his eyebrows, his eye wrinkle, or his... His eye forehead rolls. His forehead rolls. Never. <laughs> Look at this sick parking spot. Boom. And I'm right next to a cart, so I can bring a cart, and the cart depot is right next to the car. Sarah warned me. She said, please don't go crazy. But it's Target, so I'm gonna bring a cart with me, and let's see what kind of trouble and how crazy we can get. One of my biggest gripes. Animal. Reptile. Animal. 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 Surprisingly, no animal. Wait. Words and animal. 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 Trucks. Animal. Surprisingly, no animal. So out of all this, only three potential options with not an animal or an object on it. Just give me clothes. Just give me cute clothes without a koala out of the corner or a bear. I mean, it's cute, but every single option every option i'm gonna say i keep saying sarah and i gonna end up starting our own clothesline for kids target's trying to win me back after that last comment because look at this buy a hundred dollars get a 30 dollar gift card so sarah said don't go crazy and i said i actually told her i wouldn't but i am three boxes of diapers and a bunch of wipes this is actually the first time we've had to purchase wipes all the wipes that we were gifted made it till this point well well look at this where the heck did Christmas go? This is Florida for you. Did I expect to drop more than $100? No, but it's Target. And I got a gift card. And I got sweets. Look at this cornucopia of non vegan oh sweets. Oh my gosh. She told me not to go crazy. I don't think I went too crazy. I wanted a single fritter. Well, you got all, and I just realized those aren't four. Valentine's. Those are Easter. But. And cookies. Then microwaves and fritters. Alright, now... It's crazy because when I was... Sarah just messed up a... Uh... No, my pen ran out of ink. Oh. When Santa brought this uh, less than a month ago, did he think that it was going to get torn down and moved across the country? See this room? You'll never quite see it as put this together ever again. Tonight, I'm taking this down so we can have more like organizational space and I'm gonna pull the bins out for the Christmas stuff, put some of it away and start clearing out, clearing out this closet. Whoa, what are you doing? Bringing the last of the Christmas stuff in. <coughs> oh, he said the Christmas is going away. Creepy Santa, may you have a restful year. Do you have ever a moment where a previous you hooks present you up for future you? Yes. Heyo! Three large cardboard boxes. Wow. Thanks. Pe past Peter and Sarah.
<laughs> James gets all excited when Peter gets close. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we get some comments saying, you know, James is so quiet. You know, you guys are able to go out and do all this stuff. And we are. And he's mighty perfect. He does cry. He does squawk. He does have moments just like every other baby. He poops. <laughs> we have just been poops. really good at figuring out the best times to go. And, you know, to make sure he's as happy as he can be. But we just wanted to keep it real. Just keeping it real. Yes, this is the Somebody Feeds Phil episode that I'm starting right now of Chicago again. We will bring you to Al's Beef in just a few, well, like a bunch of weeks, I guess, if it's open. We actually don't know what's open or closed in Chicago right now because of COVID. But while Sarah was finished up, the Christmas cards that are going out late, I read the introduction out loud to all four of us, meaning me, Sarah, James, and Eve, of the Burnett and Bennett plan of Chicago, and there's a very specific line that I want to read to you about Burnham's ideology of the architecture of Chicago, but I need to show you a clip from this episode first. Put a comment down below if you knew already what clip of this episode I was going to show you, because I've shown it before in the vlog, and it's just like... It's just a really good clip. So let me know down below if you knew. You were like, Peter, of course you were going to show that clip. That's the first thing that popped in my head. Duh. Somebody feed James. Are you hiding? <laughs> you goof. Oh, gosh. So here's the important clip from Phil. And then I'm going to read you two sentences out of the intro. And it's like... Because this these this emphasis was written a hundred over 120 years ago. You glide through the city as if you're in a movie, and like greatest hits of architecture are just sliding past you. It is magnificent. Carl Sandburg in his poem called it the city of the big shoulders. Beautiful city, most one of the most beautiful cities in the whole world. The, em the importance that Daniel Burnham, when he was researching and making the plan, was the emphasis on the big migrations of a lot of different immigrants from Europe and around the world coming to Chicago at the time. And he knew that the city had an obligation to unite all of the citizens from all the different nation nationalities into being Chicagoans. And look, at, let me read you this line. So Chicago is known for its architecture ever since this plan. And right here. The Western classical tradition in architecture would be the medium. It is the one language that the European immigrants shared. <sighs> like Daniel Burnham planned for the architecture to unite all the different immigrants from around the world that were now settling in Chicago to make them feel all connected. What? That's our city. It sure is. That's going to be his city. And what's cool is I think over time like that was focused more on Western culture and that over time more Eastern cultures were engraved within the city as well. Yes. So this is how you will find me most of the day. Um, Peter definitely was was the, the star of the vlog today for sure. I mean, me writing out our Christmas cards wasn't as action filled as what he was getting done, but um, definitely something big off the to-do list that'll make us feel better. But I have kind of been going back and forth, like are his contact naps, you know, falling asleep on me and kind of like keeping me to the couch. I wouldn't say majority, but not majority of the whole day, like majority of Peter's work day, I am holding him. I'm with him and I'm like, do I need to make sure he's napping in his crib and all of that? You guys have seen me, you know, try to do that. And I just, I just saw something online that kind of was able to make me feel better that 
truly there's no one answer for all babies. Sometimes it's, they fall asleep easier when they're sitting on you. Sometimes they fall asleep easier when they're just put in their crib. And um, you just gotta listen to our baby. So it's like a nice little confidence boost. I think that our lifestyle of being more busy calls for less structure because he's gotten used to falling asleep, going other places, being asleep in louder areas. Um, but that kind of changes how things are then at home because there isn't that sense of schedule constantly. And we have like an outline of how the day is and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I read that tonight and it made my worried heart um, feel a bit better. And I know he is getting quality sleep while he's here. But you know, you just, I've been doing what I feel is right, but that doesn't stop me from questioning what I'm doing at the same time. Happy birthday to my cousin Benjamin. I cannot believe that he is 18. The daily message. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, therefore, is not an act, but a habit. Aristotle. So we're about to go to bed, but we got James tied up in a spot in a swaddle. We're going to read him a little acorn and then call it a night. I promise I'll shave tomorrow so you'll see a, clear, a cleaner face. Yeah, and are we going to promise that we'll go out of these? I, I can't make any promises. Yeah, that's Let's true. work, but we'll promise we'll try our darndest. I think I have no Australia call, and we might just have to take it from Epcot or wherever we end up potentially going. We just have to make the effort to leave right at 5 so we're there before I have to get set up. It's good to be home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.